Okay, so I am just now leaving Love Coffee. Y'all, look at this cup, it's so cute. Is it Just Love? Just Love Coffee? Oh my God, this cup is so cute. I'm leaving, it's like right over here by the gym, so now I have to go home. That's delicious. Okay, let me get in the car. The fog is fogging today. Like it's it's fogging and it's really cold. Like I mean it's not really cold. Let me stop lying. It's 36 degrees outside. That's still kind of cold. It's it's cold. Okay. It's not like negative 10 or negative 25 like it was a couple weeks ago. However, it's still cold. Shoot. Um I gotta go to the gym though. So I'm headed over here right now so I can become a skinny legend. I hope it's not too busy because I was supposed to come when it first opened and then I rolled right back over and went to sleep. So, um, hopefully it's not too, too busy. I can get in here and get my workout done because I need to record videos today. So hopefully um, I can do all the little things that I need to do because I do need to record like three videos today and then I have to, um, what am I doing? I have something to do this afternoon. I can't remember. But it's not something that's going to be on camera. So, let's get it together. Oh my god, I just feel like it's going to be so busy right now. Like, already the parking lot is kind of a packed little situation. So, uh, wish me luck. Y'all, the fog is so gross. And I cannot deal with it. But I'm going to go get me an espresso. Should I get an Americano? Ugh. We love an Americano in this hand. Like, ooh, not me banging on the walls. Oh, I'll be in the car. So, did my little workout. It was fun. A little traumatizing. Because, like, people kept, like, coming up and touching me. And I'm like, please don't touch me. I don't know you. You're a stranger. Um, oh, that was my shoe squeaking. Uh, so gross. Uh, Caitlin's texting let me respond to Caitlin. But yeah, so I'm going to go get uh, a little espresso shot or something to kind of wake me up. Because I got stuff to do today. Drama. Okay. can't even see me it's so dark is that better um okay good morning oh my gosh good morning good morning good morning hopefully y'all can hear me my car is still on um it's kind of cold outside i am on my way to be working out why do these people fly through this parking lot anywho i'm actually here at the gym as you can see, waiting on Lashante. Um, yesterday was Sunday run day. So we did our like two and a half miles, three miles, something like that. And um, it's getting easier to do the runs, but for, I don't know if it's my shoes or whatnot. So I ended up purchasing some new shoes because we're gonna start running twice a week instead of just once. And I am doing my very best. So I got some new shoes that will hopefully Help me, um, <laughs> she's so silly. Windows are down. Huh? Their windows are down. Oh. All the way like, it's loud. They might want to fix that. But yeah, so I got some new shoes, so hopefully that'll help. We're going to go in here, we're doing arms and chest today, so, whew. 
we're getting it done. I think we got like one more week and then we get three days off. So I'm really excited for those three days off because we've been going hard at it for a very long time. We're almost done with the 30 days. So thumbs up to that and I will see you guys in here. We're in week three. Um, what I do want to say though is that I am sweating really bad. Um, it's kind of gross. And it's raining outside. Drama. Um, so as you guys saw, I have horrible form doing things on that Smith machine. No, I do. It's, I'm like, so I don't want to lie. Because like, I know people are going to come for my neck. But it's really not. Like, you're right. So you're like, you literally, you do like one little tweet and then it's good. Well, if y'all have suggestions anyway of how I could like get better with my form and stuff like that, let me know. Should I not use the Smith, Smith machine? Can I speak today? Uh, should we just do free weights? I like free weights. So, I don't know. Um, Y'all let me know what you guys think. I know uh, there's going to be people hating because we go to Planet Fitness um, and not, like, some big gym. But, like, it's affordable and it's something where, like, I don't feel like I'm being judged every day um, when I walk into the gym. That's why I left the other gym that I went to that was bigger that was being paid for by my employer um, because I didn't feel comfortable there. And I feel comfortable here. And so if you guys have any suggestions, please leave uh, positive comments in the comment down below. And I will try to incorporate those. We're almost done with our 30 days and we have a three day break and then we have a different workout plan coming up next. We're really excited for that one, especially this one, cause she's a runner. So um, anywho, it's so much fun. I will see you guys later. I'm gonna get into my car because it's raining and I'm tired of having rain on my phone. So I will see you guys in the next one. Oh my God. Girl, just say you don't wanna go. Like, this is my thing. And this is just about people in general. If you don't wanna do something, don't do it. Like, literally nobody can make you do it. If you don't wanna do something, you don't have to lie. You don't have to make them no excuses. Just say you don't wanna do it. And that's fine because can't nobody make you do something that you don't want to do. If you don't want to get up, if you don't want to get into this gym, if you don't want to make it happen for yourself, stop blaming everybody else and stop coming up with different scenarios and different stories in your head to try to justify the fact that you don't want to do something. Just don't do it. Can't nobody force you to do something that you don't want to do. You have to make the choice. You have to get up and you have to say that you want it for yourself. I can't want it for you. Can nobody want something for you? You have to want it for yourself. And the second that you decide that you want it for yourself is going to is going to come out the exactly the way that you want it. But I can't want it for you. I have to get here and I have to do what I said I was going to do because I said I was doing a 30 day challenge, right? So I have to work out for 30 days consistently so that I can go ahead and get myself in the motion of just being at the gym. I've lost the weight that I wanted to lose. I'm still losing more weight um, because I'm overweight. I'm at uh, predis uh, what is it? What do they say? I'm at predisposition for like high blood pressure, hypertension and some other stuff when I went to the hospital, um, you know, a few months ago. And like my blood pressure was all high and they were like, you really have got to start, you know, getting it together, like start eating better, things like that. I found out like that I had some like food allergies that I didn't even know about my entire life. And so, you know, I changed my diet and um, put myself in a calorie deficit, stop overeating because I suffer from binge eating disorder. It's undiagnosed, but Bible, I really do suffer from binge eating disorder and I had to like break that cycle. Um, so I'm gonna get in here. I'm gonna do a little bit of cardio and get my life together um nothing too crazy nothing too heavy because we literally just was at the gym last night and we went really hard so um i'm gonna go i'm gonna do like a half hour cardio i'm gonna take my butt home i'm uh you know relax and then i'll get ready to go to work but this just a message for anybody out there who is doing it for somebody else you cannot do things for other people you have to do it for yourself you can't help nobody else until you help yourself N there's no shame there's no shame in understanding your body and taking a break and being well rested and things like that. But, you know, at the end of the day, stop focusing so much on other people and start focusing on yourself. If you want it, get out there and get it.